When she's dead, rather than being shocked by it, Quagmire gets excited and starts dragging her back inside. Oh. Thankfully, he has a change of heart, but we're not so sure that makes up for the rest of the scene. Get the bag, Dark Knight Gang in the stack, gang, gang. Yeah. Today I'm about to do another video from Screen Rant. This one right here is titled 25 Family Guy Deleted Scenes That Were Too Much for TV. You guys requested it. Don't trip me now. I got you. I'm dropping maybe three to four reactions today. So be on the lookout for that. This is the first one. Bro, it's March 1st. It's Monday. I'm about to go on a two month crazy journey, man. Listen, all of March and all of April, I'm only going to be focused on my spirituality, my intellectual, my emotional, my physical. Man, I'm going to be focused on just me completely and leveling up. I'm not going to focus, though, on cutting my hair. I'm not going to shave. I'm not going to cut my hair. I'm not worried about that. I have to accept myself fully. But other than that, I'm just going to continue to grind. I'm going to continue to upgrade in every way possible, bro. That's why I haven't uploaded any videos the past two days. I was kind of just getting ready for this two-month journey. You know what I'm saying? But for the next two months, bro, I'm not having any sex. I'm not even talking to women. I'm not sliding in any DMs. I'm not texting any women. Nothing. So I'm not dealing with women at all. I'm eliminating all distractions, bro. Two months. I'm going hard. But anyway, I just wanted to update you guys on my life. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you're not going to see me. I'm not going to be on Instagram. I'm completely cutting out uh, social media except YouTube, obviously. So the only time you're going to see me and talk to me is when I do YouTube, man. But I'm excited for these next two months. That had nothing to do with nothing. We're about to hop into this video. The 25 Family Guy deleted scenes. Bro. Bro. If these scenes are deleted, Family Guy already pushes the envelope, you feel me? So if these got deleted, this is about to be some insane stuff. I'm ready hopping into it. I'm ready to have a great day. All of you guys have a great day. Yeah, man. Let's go. Family Guy has never held back when it comes to pushing boundaries. That's and what we I'm love saying. them for that. They Rather already pushed the envelope. From edgy jokes, they run headlong <sighs> into them and let the viewer decide if they really want to stick around for the ride. But sometimes, the network just can't deal, and some of the craziest scenes wind up on the cutting room floor. Lucky for you, we've swept them right back up. <laughs> I, I gotta see. <laughs> Sometimes scenes are cut for content reasons, and some are clearly just way too long to make it to air. But one season six deleted scene was very obviously cut for what it contains, as the bit itself is barely five seconds long. Peter comments on needing a tattoo removed and rolls up his sleeve to reveal a tattoo that says, Black people make me uncomfortable. No wonder he wants that one gone. You a lot. No wonder they didn't want to let that little moment onto TV. Right? Right. In the season 12 episode, Baby Got Black, Peter, Quagmire, and Joe make a bet as to which one of them can stay awake the longest. Things go all right until 62 hours in, when the guys really start Yo. to lose it and begin hallucinating. In a truly disturbing and surprisingly graphic deleted scene, Quagmire hallucinates Peter's butt turning into a fly and attacking him. In reality, Peter was himself hallucinating that Quagmire was a toilet, which managed to stay in the episode. The fly transition, however, definitely did not make it to TV. Another joke in season 12 uh, Did Peter take a doodle on this dude? That's what I'm trying to see <laughs> Might have proven just too hot button For the Fox Network's liking uh -huh. And the fact that they cut this bit is not really all that surprising Peter sets up a classic Family Guy cutaway gag By telling Chris about the time he was Roe's boyfriend We don't know who Roe is yeah, Until like, it huh? reveals that Peter Is in the middle of the famous Supreme Court case Roe v. Wade oh. When the court rules in favor of Roe Peter is delighted and tells his very pregnant girlfriend to... Everyone was thrilled to see Cleveland <laughs> that was, return to Family Guy. No I can see a lot of. I, I, I could definitely see a lot of people tripping off of that last one with him telling his pregnant girlfriend, "Get that out of here. We ain't have no baby." I, yeah. Peter himself. But when their wives don't get along, Peter and Cleveland are forbidden to see each other. So they start sneaking out to the country to do so. In a long okay. deleted scene, we see the two of them meeting at a cabin, and each time they one up each other with the drugs they bring to the hangout. First that beer, then pot, then acid, crystal meth, and finally Peter brings. 10 rounds of chemotherapy, which for some reason wow. they partake in. 
Poor Meg. That was she so really dark. just can't catch a break. But maybe by deleting this pretty brutal scene, the network was actually giving her one for once. In a one-off mm -hmm. gag in season 12, an old tiny nemesis of Stewie shows up as the family is eating dinner and attempts to shoot him. While he just grazes Stewie's arm, Meg ends up taking the bullet right Damn. between the eyes. She dies and lies there bleeding from the head in front of everyone. Of course, none of the family pays any attention and completely ignores poor, poor Man. There's nothing Family Guy loves more than a seemingly random setup for a good cutaway gag. But maybe this one was just a bit too much to air on TV. When commenting on Joe's grilling, Peter says that the burgers he's black dude. Never mind. are still colder than an Asian in-law. They then cut to a white guy being harshly questioned by his Asian father-in-law about his education, job, and yearly salary. The father is bluntly critical until he finds out how much his son-in-law makes per year. Before cheering right about. up after he finds out it's quite a lot. Wow. Brian has had a lot of world <laughs> friends over the years, but perhaps his biggest <laughs> That last one, that's hilarious. <laughs> Break was That's Julian, Asian culture, the huh? sweet but not so bright blonde voiced by Drew Barrymore. In a deleted scene, when Peter is getting to know Jillian and what kind of wedding she wants, he asks her if she wants a Jewish wedding. When Jillian asks why she'd want that, Peter reveals that he was sneakily trying to find out if she was hiding the fact that she was Jewish. It's pretty questionable why he would even care whether she yeah, was or wasn't. We all know that Dr. Hartman okay. is pretty much the worst doctor out there, and really the last person you'd want operating on you. In one particular deleted scene, he really proves why. While Lois is in the hospital, Dr. Hartman enters the room chewing on something. When Peter it's asks what it is, Hartman actually says it's Lois's tumor, and that a hazard of working in the cancer ward is getting addicted to them. Of all the gross things Family Guy has ever That's... done, they may have seriously outdone themselves with that one. Right? That's Family so Guy random! Isn't... Like, what? What are you chewing on? Oh, your wife's tumor. <laughs> for being very what? sensitive when it comes to issues about race, but at least they tend to make fun of literally everyone evenly. Even they still, do. some jokes prove it. too much to let on network TV. Like this one about a girl Brian brings home named Mina. Peter All is right, wowed see. by how exotic she looks, and when he finds out that she is half Indian and half African American, he says it was smart of her family to breed out the breathing problems. Thankfully, Brian cuts him off before he can explain further. In the episode Spies Reminiscent of Us, Stewie and Brian... That went over my head. What? I never mind. Up I won't try to figure it out, Chevy but chase to Russia. While complaining that they I don't have made make a, a video terrible too mistake, Stewie says that coming to Russia was a worse idea than a leper colony doing the hokey pokey. What follows is the single saddest version of the song and dance that you've ever seen, with limbs falling all over the place and the group looking like they're on death's door. <laughs> Why they would ever decide to give the hokey pokey a try in the first place is beyond <laughs> us. The episode where Quagmire finds out that he has a baby daughter made everyone a little nervous. After all, Quagmire has a pretty questionable history with women. But one joke that in particular proved just a little Ooh, too much for TV. Shit. When Lois and Peter try and help Quagmire learn to change a diaper, Peter comments that Anna has made a big one. Quagmire responds that she does it for free now, but when she's 21, she'll charge extra for it. It's bad enough as is, but the fact that he's talking about his daughter, yikes! Exactly. Religion has <laughs> never been a topic that Family Guy is afraid to tackle, especially Jesus. when it comes to Jesus. Not only does he visit Quahog in person, but he's actually kind of a loser when he does. In the episode where the guys try and help Jesus have his first time, he tries picking up a series of women. One moment was cut, and we bet we know why. He tries out a pickup line on Doesn't one blonde that uh, doesn't go so well. Just, just watch. Just watch it. Usually, Family Guy jokes Bro, you should have played it! Because they're deemed a little too dirty or inappropriate for network audiences. But sometimes, and in the case of this one, the joke might just be a little too real. When Peter and the guys get trapped inside an attic together, Peter says that they are locked in a cramped, sweltering room with inhumane conditions. And that the only thing to do is to build some iPads. It's one of those jokes Whoa. that actually hurts because of the reality <laughs> it's representing. The episode in which Peter has a stroke was already seriously controversial for its time. I remember this so episode. So it's pretty surprising that there were any jokes that didn't make it to air. But one of Stewie's was apparently just too far for the network censors, and never made it to broadcast. It what features Stewie comparing Peter's disturbing appearance post-stroke to a bad idea hooker, and cuts away to a woman on the street proposing a series of things to passing men that are indeed very bad ideas. Seth MacFarlane has Bro, been you gotta give us some of the jokes. Beliefs, and he isn't 
isn't shy about working them into the show whenever he can, even if sometimes they don't make it past censors. One in particular leaves nothing to the imagination about his feelings about religion. It features a Christian missionary visiting what Whoa. looks like a secluded tribesman. The two have a very blunt conversation in which the missionary tries to convince the man to learn all about his imaginary guy, and leaves him a Bible, which he calls some made-up material. Joe has always had a bit of a rough go of it on the show, as much as he tries to make the best of it. When he writes a book called The Hopeful Squirrel, it seems like things might just be looking up, but in one seriously dark deleted scene, it doesn't seem quite as optimistic. In the scene, Whoa. Joe accidentally oh. runs oh. over a squirrel with his wheelchair, destroying its bottom half. Just as he is about to teach it that it will be okay, a gunshot is heard, and we see that the squirrel has killed itself. Oh. Ah, Mort, the local pharmacist and that last one, hella dark. He ran over his legs. It'll be okay. Look at me. I don't have any legs. You can still make it through. Squirrel, squirrel said, fuck this. <laughs> Jewish character on the show has yeah. taken his fair share of hits over the 17 seasons that Family Guy has been on the air. But it seems that sometimes it's just a little too much. When okay, Brian becomes happened? a realtor, he is looking for someone to buy a property at the Drunken Clam. When mm -hmm. Mort enters, Brian asks That's if he knows team. anyone with money. Mort says yes. Brian asks if he knows anyone who is willing to spend money. And Mort says no, before stealing all of the peanuts and leaving. <laughs> Why is Quagmire the way he is? Uh, well, a deleted scene offers a pretty scene answer. When Quagmire's what? mom shows up while he he's got, like, in the middle of the court case, she offers some insight into why he is the way he is. One particular scene was cut, which took things just a little too far. Literally right after Quagmire's birth, the doctor asks Mrs. Quagmire how she feels. And, well, she doesn't have the reaction you might think. She has the doctor put Quagmire back in and out, and yeah. Apparently the episode oh. we just mentioned was <laughs> okay. over the top in more ways than one, as another deleted scene from it was just a bit too much to air. While Quagmire is being questioned in court, he says that his mother not only had an affair with Stephen Hawking, but actually gave him the idea for his theory on black holes. The episode cuts to Professor Hawking giving a lecture and describing a, <clears throat> a black hole in serious detail, though mm. it's pretty clear he isn't mm -hmm. talking about space. Mm -hmm. We know that Stewie's feelings about murdering people are pretty relaxed, and we've seen him do it on more than one occasion, but one particular deleted scene was apparently a step too far for Fox. While Joe soaks in his hot tub, supported by four water wings, Stewie takes out a sniper rifle and shoots holes in each of the floaty devices. While Joe slowly drowns and calls out to Bonnie, we see her standing at the back door, watching and doing nothing. <laughs> it's been clear since the first time we met him that Stewie isn't a regular baby, which has been known to get him into trouble on more than one occasion. Like this deleted scene, which gives creepy Herbert a run for his money. Stewie mentions that he is shooting an episode of the show Catfish, and then it cuts to the man he's been catfishing. Rather than hoping that he is on his way to meet another adult, the man is a little too excited at the idea that he's on his way to court a baby. Tom mm. Tucker gets <laughs> away with saying things on the news that pretty much no other anchor alive would be able to. But even he goes too far for the Fox network, apparently, as it is clear in this deleted scene. When delivering a story about a panda bear in the Quahog Zoo who is sick with tater tot mm. poisoning, he gives a quote by the Chinese ambassador. But instead of a real quote, he just spouts a string of Asian stereotypes types like Tiger Bomb, Make Fu Young, and Practice Your Piano Math. Some people might think the jokes about the Holocaust are still too taboo for TV, and seeing as how this one scene was cut from the broadcast, the network might agree. It starts off with Meg making a comment that the world was too slow to respond to the Holocaust before cutting to Peter solemnly agreeing. After a few seconds of silence, he says that they've now earned a joke about an anti-Semitic pigeon, and cuts away to a gag about a couple of birds badgering two very stereotypical men having a think Peter is an honest guy. I worked out not so long ago. So dirty. This deleted scene, Brian sets up a cutaway of Peter giving a deposition by saying that he never knows what he's doing, and is quickly proven right. While sitting in a room full of lawyers, Peter casually goes over the details of a time when he had time to kill in a hotel room, and things get honest and graphic pretty quickly. Of course, it turns out that they had simply asked him to identify his signature in the first place. And while we'll never side with- Wait, huh? <laughs> Bro, you gotta start giving us the jokes, my guy. I wanna laugh. Great video. Shout out to Scream Rant once again for making a great video. I, man, I thought they were going to show us the jokes. I was ready to laugh. I mean, it still was a great video. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of more information regarding Family Guy, but I wanted to see some of the jokes. I wanted to laugh at some of the jokes. You feel me? But still, it was a cool little video, man. Great video. Thank you guys so much for requesting it. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Shout out to the gang. Yeah.